NXT RIM Firmware Upgrading. This video explains how to quickly and easily upgrade the firmware on an NXT reader interface module. Note that when using an NXT weekend only interface module, the reader is set to firmware version 3.3.21, which configures the module for single line LED control. If you are using Wiegand readers that are dual line LED mode control, then you will need to firmware upgrade to firmware 3.3.10, and this can be obtained by contacting Kerry Systems Tech Support. So this video explains how to upgrade the firmware on a RIM module using either standard or NXT Mercury powered controllers. It assumes that you have an existing doors.net system and you have online controllers using standard NXT controllers. From within the software, click on Setup, Hardware Setup and then the All tab. Highlight the NXT controller, then click the Firmware Upgrade icon. Click the expander to the left of the controller and then if the rims are connected, you will see the current firmware displayed. Click the first rim in the list if you have more than one. And then select the latest available rim firmware from the Select Firmware File drop down list. Then click the Apply button. A confirmation message will appear, so click Yes to this. And then a green progress bar will appear indicating when the firmware upgrade has completed. So when the progress bar reaches 100% you will see that all of the RIMs are displaying the latest firmware. So you can now close down the firmware upgrade page. Using NXT Mercury powered controllers Again, uh, go to the hardware tree, which is Setup, Hardware Setup, and then All. And double click on an NXT Mercury powered controller. Double click one of the buses, and then highlight a reader. Ensure that Advanced View is enabled for the reader properties. And the, the RIM's current firmware will be displayed at the top of the reader properties. So with the reader highlighted, click on the Hardware Browser tab towards the top of the screen and then click on the Firmware Upgrade icon from the ribbon bar. The latest required firmware file will be located within the Kerry backslash doorsnet backslash firmware folder. It's a .aax file. Highlight this firmware file and then click the Open button. A task verification message will appear, so click yes to this. And then in live events you will see a message notifying you when the firmware upgrade has begun. And then there will be another message when the firmware upgrade has completed. The reader properties will now display the new firmware version. Note that when using NXT Mercury powered controllers, you should only upgrade one RIM at a time. So ensure the upgrade has completed before you move on to upgrading another RIM. Thank you for watching.